Okay, next we are going to install our open builds router mount. You're going to need your M5 by 8 millimeter, M5 by 10 millimeter screws, drop in T nuts for these black angle brackets. So we are going to begin by using uh, our 10 millimeter screws. And we're going to align this bracket with this outside hole. You can kind of see these outside holes line up with our T slots in there. So next we are going to, going to get ready to install um, our open builds router holder to our Z axis. We'll start by using M5 by 8 millimeter screws, four of them. One, two, three, four. And four T nuts. Insert our T nut in. These are the drop in T nuts, by the way. Measure about two inches up. <clears throat> and we want the bottom of our Point to be at about two inches. First, so just jam these puppies in there. Okay, so we are going to make our rack, wire rack, out of this 20 by 20 extrusion by 1000. We're going to start with our L bracket, 20 millimeter screw, 9 millimeter spacer, washer, flat washer, and our T nut. Also, you'll need your M5 nuts, T nuts. So, to assemble this, we are going to use the slot nearest uh, our corner, insert that in. Put together our 9mm spacer, our flat washer, and then our T nut. Oops. You want the grippy side towards the washer. Same thing. Just building another one. 20 millimeter screw, 9 millimeter washer, flat washer, T slot or drop in T nut. So we have our pre assembled bracket here. I'm just going to slide that in and Use our ball driver and just start screwing it. Okay. 
once that starts tightening up the only thing is we want this to be on the bottom side and I guess as far as alignment I guess if you want full strength put it at this very end in line with our vertical aluminum sheet so I'll just tighten it here Next, we'll repeat the other side. We have our pre-assembled bracket. Slide our T-nut in to this bottom edge. Just start screwing. Align this to our way outside edge. So we are to install our 20 by 20. We're going to take our M5T nut, install it. Well, let's install it flat side down. And then we're going to rest it on top of our L bracket. And then we are going to screw it in from the bottom with the M5 by eight millimeter screw. And we will repeat on the other side. <clears throat> We're gonna install our motors. So we have our two lead screws. Our two NEMA 23 motors, 50 millimeter length screws, 40 millimeter spacers, uh, shaft couplers, 8 millimeter bearings, uh, our ball screw kit, and a couple small files, some shaft collars, and our 8 millimeter spacers. So we are going to install our motor with the pigtail down. So we're gonna to attach to these two holes using our spacers. But first we are going to attach our shaft coupler. <clears throat> gonna make sure our set screws are pulled out and we are going to have our open builds logo facing up and our flat spot on our shaft up so I measured the shaft on our other Z axis and there's a half inch gap and what I want to do is get try to get as much of our shaft as our lead screw in get equal amounts of grip so if I go to about half inch actually I'll put this well let me just get my set screw started so flat side screw this in until it sets a little bit it found our flat spot. Now I'm going to measure our half inch gap and I'm going to <clears throat> snug down our lead screw. And then once our lead screw or our uh, set screw is tightened, we are going to tighten this other screw and this will clamp onto our shaft. Okay, so we're going to attach our motor open builds pigtail down with our 50 millimeter screws. And since our logo is this way, 
we will insert two bolts on our left side. With these inserted, next we'll add on our spacers or standoffs. And next we will just attach them. Once you tighten these down, it should be quite rigid. And now we are going to do the same thing to the other side. Okay, next we are going to insert our lead screw to our shaft or our hole. Once it's began, we want to toss in our bearing. A next is an eight millimeter shim. And then next is our shaft collar. So we'll just continue sizing this down. Okay, our set screw came out, that's all right. Just kind of thread it in there. So, Keep threading until we get to our nut blocks. Once you get there, and you know what, I'm gonna push this thing till about halfway. But once our nut block, we reach our nut blocks, we should just start threading these in by hand. Okay. <clears throat> Better lighting. Um, so once you start threading in here, just keep spinning it by hand, and eventually, we hope to see it thread out this end.
needs to be a little bit more square towards the face. So I'm going to tighten these up just a nudge. Okay, so that was my bad. I didn't, uh, I didn't tighten down those. I left them a little too loose. So once your screw comes through, you want to do the opposite. Slide on our shaft collar. I gotta hurry this video up. My dog's getting hungry. Eight millimeter washer, then a bearing. Okay, once we get to this point, we want to line up our bearing inside our bore. And place our shaft as deep as it can go. And then tighten our set screw. Once that's set, we take our shaft collar, and we tighten that. Make sure everybody's snug. So now, totally did that wrong. We want to hit our set screw first. So now that translates into rotation. So now so then come all the way down to here slide in our ball bearing our eight millimeter washer and our shaft collar press this in there and tighten. We're going to assemble our x-axis so what we'll need is our thousand millimeter screw 50 millimeter and five by 50 millimeter screw or yeah I guess they're screws eight millimeter washers two uh, shaft collars two 40 millimeter spacers two C beam end, end clamps a shaft coupler 
eight millimeter bearings. Two, you should have two left. And eight M5 by 20 screws. The other side will be this exact same thing. You'll install your plate and four M5 by 20 millimeter screws. So now we're going to attach our drive, which this is on the right side of our uh, CNC machine. We have our open builds motor and we're going to attach these with two 50 millimeter M5 by 50 millimeter screws. We're going to have our two 40 millimeter spacers. And so we're using these two holes. Put our pigtail down. And we're going to thread. seems to be on there pretty good okay this will be the last part of our x-axis so what you need is two eight millimeter bearings two eight millimeter washers shaft coupler two shaft uh, lock collars and our lead screw and our some of our miscellaneous ball screw screwdrivers that came with this possibly a small file about half of these shaft collars that I've had um, they've had tiny burrs in them and I've just either had to run them through here and try to knock that burr down or take a little file and just kind of you know just kind of sand that down or file that down not too bad but just something uh, you want to make sure that that you can slide this and you don't have to spin this collar, it just makes it easier. And then before we get too far, we're going to put on our bearing. one of our last two eight millimeter washers and shaft collar and now that I really you know now that I'm looking at this I'm gonna have to take off that motor and I'm going to uh, put on our our uh, shaft coupling now we're coming up to our block, which I said I left mine just a little too sloppy. So you want them to be loose enough where this can move, but not too loose where they're not square because uh, you'll have trouble getting this screw started. So when they get snug, just back them out. Just a little bit of a turn. So. Now make sure you slide on your shaft collar, your 8mm washer, and then your 8mm bearing. Once you get close enough to screw in, And slide this in. I'm going to kind of get our bearing seated in there. Let's push all the way in and maybe back off an eighth. And I'm going to 
Gonna tighten our collar here. Make sure it's flush. Okay. We're gonna tighten our First, I'm going to do this set screw. And then our tighten our other screw over coupler. Okay. So now we have our motors installed uh, next we will be tightening down our block nuts so this will be the final tightening so we finished up tightening our nut blocks on our right side and our left side next we'll be installing these uh, cap plates you should have nine of them and nine self-tapping screws so we all start I guess on our right side so this will be the front of the machine Then our last one will be, well not last one, for this right side we're only applying this cover to our top one. So what you'll need to, to do for the other side is to, the other side will have two. Uh, this side is for our rail, our uh, wire track. Okay, we finished installing our end caps and now we are going to turn our motor couplers by hand. Both of them are left and right. This is the back side and we're going to twist. <laughs> 